Now, in case you can't make it to all the events in the Keys, I think it'd be pretty impossible to even make it to half of everything that's going on. You can feel like you're there thanks to my next guest this morning. You will most likely recognize his face because this man is everywhere. He is capturing life in Key West one shot at a time. Larry, it's wonderful having you on the show with me today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, Larry, I always see you out, but I never really get the chance to talk to you, so I'm looking forward to it. How long have you been down here in the Keys, Larry? I've actually lived here now for over three years. Okay. Uh, but I, I think my first trip to Key West was in 1976. Oh, really? Okay. So I've been coming here quite often. Okay, so did you have any idea in 1976 that you would end up here? No idea. So many years later, right? Well, we are glad you're here, Larry, because like I mentioned, you're everywhere. You're photographing so many different events in the Keys. Our viewers can see all of your different photos behind us this morning. How long have you been doing photography? I, st I started as a child. Uh, I, eight or nine years old, I, I made a camera out of cardboard, a pinhole camera. You made a camera out of cardboard? Made a camera. It was a, it was a little project and you just, you know, you pull the thing up, count, put the film in the back of it, count for so long and then mm -hmm. Uh, developed it and that just kind of one one thing led to another mm -hmm. and my parents bought me you know the little point and shoots and the little film cameras of the day and then I um, started using my dad's 35 millimeter that he brought back from Korea mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it's been a hobby for a long time now what would you shoot just you know, back then anything mm -hmm. just, just just go out and and shoot it was uh, there was no education or anything like that in, involved at the time mm -hmm. um, I, I ventured into different things, and mm -hmm. it's just whatever whatever got in front of the camera. Right. Now, were you working as a photographer throughout your life, or was this just a hobby? It was a very expensive hobby uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that has since turned into a business. Mm -hmm. Now, when you came down here to the Keys three years ago, you said, did you start, did you pick up that camera the moment you walked, <sighs> walked here? <laughs> I earned a nickname early on as paparazzi to the drag queens. <laughs> Really, paparazzi to the drag queen. They made I, I had made so many friends over the years while traveling down here, and they were such interesting subjects to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, there was a certain amount of, of caution and concern because there's so many people that come in and, and photograph things and then head back to wherever and try to you know try to make money from that. Mm -hmm. uh, what I was doing was taking the photos for my own own use, but then I would also edit them or process them. Uh, cut out the bad ones and then would burn a disc for each one of the girls to use uh, for whatever they chose. Mm -hmm. I figured they're working very hard and spending a lot of money and not making a lot of money so it was just something to give back to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the really really the first exposure uh, of, of what I shot down here mm -hmm. uh, and, and then it just it, it morphed into other things. I moved into the journalistic side down here and the, mm -hmm. the social publications and that, that has just continued to to grow mm -hmm. and different op opportunities have presented themselves um, through this to where other people contact certain people we need photographs of this photographs of that mm -hmm. they put them in touch with me and then they get their photographs so my stuff has been in publications all over the world now Wow, Larry. what about the drag queens I want to talk about that for just a minute now would you get the transformation of the drag queens or would you just get them performing I have actually done uh, one shoot where we went over a two-hour time period from Roger to Inga. Really? And I would catch myself forgetting to shoot because the transformation is so interesting and seeing mm -hmm. all of the work and the effort that goes into that transformation. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of queens in town that I would like to do, do that again. Uh, and just, I, I've got a different idea yeah, on, on how to do it. I'd love to see the final project it's, of that. I will make sure, certain that you do. <laughs> now, you mentioned that you're in publications all over the world, Larry. What are, what would you say is the publication that you're most proud of? Hmm. Well, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna sound strange that I say this, but I think what I'm most proud of is is the local publication, and that'll be Conk Life, mm -hmm. uh, because my friends see it. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Things that are in the, you know, they're, when I say they're in publications all over the world, they're travel magazines from this country, travel magazines from that country, and there's just, you know, there's just boom, one picture. You know, if I get a, if I get a photo on the cover of Time Magazine or National Geographic, then, then I might change my mind. But right now, 
I'm very proud when someone says, you know, great cover shot on, on Conk Life. Mm -hmm. You're showing off your friends. You're showing them on the covers to everybody who comes down here to the Keys. Larry, do you do weddings? If I have to. <laughs> uh, I'd rather play tag with the cars out on US-1 than, than do a wedding. <laughs> okay, uh, so weddings aren't your thing. Weddings aren't my thing because, and it's not, it's simply because weddings are, are difficult to shoot. And anybody that, that shoots weddings will say, tell you the same thing. You get one chance at most photos, and you don't want to miss them. And when you do miss them, as a professional or even a, a hobbyist just trying to help out a friend, you feel like you've let someone down, you've disappointed them. Mm -hmm. um, so I will do one. I'll do yours. I'll do a friend's wedding, you know, some that are, that are insistent upon me doing them, as long as everybody understands this is... This is how I shoot, this is what I shoot, um, and the way that I shoot. I'm not going to be the guy that gives you that portrait to hang over your, your fireplace. But mm -hmm. uh, that being said, there's some tremendous wedding photographers in town, uh, and we all kind of help and push each other in the right direction. So mm -hmm. if you want a wedding photographer, you can call Rob O'Neill, you can call Nick Dahl, mm -hmm. people like that, and, and they'll do exactly what you want. Well, I know you would do a great job too, Larry. I am a fan such a fan of your work. So thank you for being on this morning. If you want more information on Larry, check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after this. Don't go away. <laughs>